Welcome to our second set of pharmacy practice questions. This pharmacy quiz covers questions on branches of pharmacy. These are multiple choice questions consisting of question stems, correct answer, and distractors. Read the questions carefully. Try to answer the questions without looking at the options and compare your answer with the options. The correct answer and its explanation will be displayed at the end of each question. You can also refer to the video that we have already uploaded on this topic. We wish you good luck. Let's begin. Question 1. Into how many primary disciplines, branches of pharmacy are divided? Option A, 4. Option B, 5. Option C, 6. Option D, 7. The correct answer is, Option B. Branches of pharmacy, are divided into five primary disciplines. Each of them is related to each other, and cannot be separated. Question 2. Pharmaceutics deals with, which of the following? Option A, the development of, a new chemical compound into a finished drug which should be safe, stable, and effective in use. Option B, the formation of an existing drug into a new dosage form. Option C, both options A and B. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is, Option C. Pharmaceutics is the branch of pharmacy that deals with the development of a new chemical compound into a finished drug, which should be safe, stable, and effective in use. Pharmaceutics also deals with the formation of an existing drug into a new dosage form. Question 3. Which of the following is true for medicinal chemistry? Option A, it deals with designing, optimization, and development of new chemical compounds as drugs. Option B, it concerns with the metabolism of drugs. Option C, both options A and B. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is, Option C. Medicinal chemistry deals with designing, optimization, and development of new chemical compounds as drugs. It concerns with the metabolism of drugs. Question 4. Which of the following is true for pharmaceutical chemistry? Option A. It deals with the designing and development of new chemical compounds as drugs. Option B. It doesn't concern with the metabolism of drugs. Option C, both options A and B. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is option C. Pharmaceutical chemistry deals with the designing and development of new chemical compounds as drugs. It doesn't concern with the metabolism of drugs. Question 5. Pharmacognosy deals with which of the following? Option A, the study of medicinal drugs that are derived from plants, animals, or other natural sources. Option B, the physical, chemical, biochemical, and biological properties of drugs, drug substances, or potential drugs, or drug substances of natural origin. Option C, both options A and B. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is, Option C. Pharmacognosy is the branch of pharmacy that deals with the study of medicinal drugs that are derived from plants, animals, or other natural sources. It also deals with the physical, chemical, biochemical, and biological properties of drugs, drug substances, or potential drugs, or drug substances of natural origin. Question 6. Which of the following branch of pharmacy deals with the interactions that occur between the living organisms and chemical compounds that can give effect to normal or abnormal biochemical functions? Option A. Pharmacology. 
Option B, clinical intervention. Option C, patient care. Option D, pharmaceutical care. The correct answer is, option A. Pharmacology is the branch of pharmacy that deals with the interactions that occur between the living organisms and chemical compounds that can give effect to normal or abnormal biochemical functions. Such effects can be described as pharmacokinetic effect or pharmacodynamic effect. Question 7. Which of the following is true for pharmacokinetic effect? Option A, it is about, what the body does with the drug. Option B, it includes absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. Option C, both options A and B. Option D, none of the above. The correct answer is, option C. Pharmacokinetic effect is about, what the body does with the drug, that is, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination or, ADME. Question 8. ADME stands for, which of the following? Option A, absorption, disposition, metabolism, and elimination. Option B, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. Option C, accumulation, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. Option D, absorption, dislocation, metabolism, and elimination. The correct answer is, option B. ADME stands for, absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. Question 9. Which of the following branch of science is more focused on the pharmacy practice in community and hospital? Option A, pharmaceutics, option B, pharmacognosy, option C, pharmacology, option D, pharmacy practice. The correct answer is, option D. Pharmacy practice is the branch of science which is more focused on the pharmacy practice in community and hospital. Question 10. Into which of the following areas, pharmacy practice is divided? Option A, clinical settings, drug manufacturing, patient counseling, solution-oriented problem solving, and patient-related problems. Option B, clinical implementation, drug development, good manufacturing practices, primary health care, and medication-related problems. Option C, clinical approaches, product development, time management, hospital pharmacy, and issues related to clinical patient information. Option D, clinical intervention, pharmaceutical care, communication skills, patient care, and drug-related problems. The correct answer is, option D. Pharmacy practice is a branch of science, which is more focused on the pharmacy practice, in community and hospital, and is also divided into some areas, including clinical interventions, pharmaceutical care, communication skills, patient care, and drug-related problems. Question 11. Which of the following is about? The direct or indirect responsibility of a drug therapy, for the purpose of achieving, the elimination, or a reduction of, a patient's symptom of a disease. Option A, clinical intervention. Option B, communication skill. Option C, patient care. Option D, pharmaceutical care. The correct answer is, option D. Pharmaceutical care is about, the direct or indirect responsibility of a drug therapy for the purpose of achieving the elimination or a reduction of a patient's symptom of a disease. Question 12. Which of the following skills a pharmacist should have to interact with many people with different backgrounds? Option A, communication skills, option B, critical thinking skills, 
Option C, self-discipline. Option D, impulse control. The correct answer is, Option A. Pharmacists need to interact with many people with different backgrounds, so they should always have good communication skills. Question 13. Which of the following are included in patient care? Option A. Pharmacists should always be patient-oriented. Option B. Pharmacists must focus on improving the patient's quality of life. Option C. Both options A and B. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is, Option C. Pharmacists should always be patient-oriented. They must focus on improving the patient's quality of life. The orientation of pharmacist towards patient and their focus on improving the quality of life the patient, both are included in patient care. Thank you.